Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. The cruise week began early on Sunday with the arrival of the Russian Progress 60 cargo ship. The unmanned spacecraft delivered more than three tons of cargo and fuel to the station, including over 3,100 pounds of spare parts and food for Expedition 44. It will stay attached to the pier's docking compartment for the next four months before being loaded up with trash and being sent off to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. This week, we're taking a look at how microgravity is helping to treat an incurable disease here on Earth. The latest installment in our Benefits for Humanity series looks at how high-quality crystals grown in microgravity may lead to new treatments for diseases here on the ground. Using research conducted in space, scientists with the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency are working to design a drug that could slow the progression of a serious muscle disease by half. To see the full story and to learn more about how the station benefits life on Earth, head over to nasa.gov slash station benefits. This week, Philip wants to know what animals have been to the ISS. Quite a few, actually, as animals can play a vital role in teaching us more about our own bodies. So far, the station has been visited by mice, several species of fish, worms, spiders, and a number of insects, including flies and ants. Many of these serve as model organisms studying human health in space, as they undergo changes in microgravity much faster than humans and can be studied in a much larger sample size at a time. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.